Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. As many of you guys heard last night, uh, Jelly Bean 4.1.1 source, the AOSP, was released to the public and of course developers went crazy. So they're all working on their own versions of AOSP source. One of the first to come out is by ZoomDev. It is Roots Boat. Uh, you can find this ROM in the link in the description. I'm going to link that to his thread on Roots Wiki. Uh, basically, there's not a lot of customization. He did say that in his rebirth of Roots Boat, they're not really going to focus on the customization aspects. So they're not going to have thousands and thousands of customization options like they may have in the past. They're really just going to focus on getting a well-performing ROM. So a clean ROM that functions well, that saves battery life. That's really what they're focused on for Roots Boat in the future. Uh, really, you can see that Project Butter is working incredibly well. You don't, read a, you don't really need too much optimizations with the Project Butter. Of course, it does include other features of 4.1 that we already know about, like this little animation in the lock screen. Of course, they do have Google now. Functions perfectly. And uh, you do have your new Google Play magazines and Google Current is there as well. Uh, one thing about this ROM, and we'll go over it in the installation guide, uh, there is a YouTube application that has to be installed on top of this, or actually there's a special G apps that I will include the link to in the description as well. Um, apparently the G apps that comes with the ROM by ZoomDev, it did not include YouTube and a few others. So you want to make sure that you flash that modified G apps. Uh, but anyways guys, this is Roots Boat. Like I said, not a lot of customization, just a very well-performing ROM based on the newly released AOSP version of Jellybean 4.1.1. Uh, so, in fact, we'll go to settings real quick just so you guys can see the version that is that is running. About phone, and the new version is 4.1.1, the build number JR003C. Um, you know, we've already kind of gone over Jellybean, so you guys know about the new notification system. You guys know about Google now, all the new Google apps that it came with, uh, the new YouTube, you guys have seen all of this. Uh, so we won't get too far into the ROM, we'll just go ahead and install it. So you'll want to boot your phone down, power it off. And you'll need to boot into recovery, so just hold both the volume buttons and the power button to bring up the boot loader. Once you're at the bootloader, you'll scroll over to recovery mode. And as soon as it loads, we will get to flashing. So the first thing you want to do here is go to wipe. Go ahead and factory reset swipe to wipe. Then you wipe cache, swipe to wipe. Davit cache swipe to wipe and then we'll go back and install so first you're going to install roots boat toro over the air english so make sure that's what you're installing swipe to install and then you're looking for uh, the modified g apps it's going to be a weird name because it's coming from google docs until zoom dev incorporates it into his thread um, you can find it on post number 12 i guess uh, i'll try to include a link to all the files uh, on my website as well and I'll link to that in the description it may be a little easier uh, so you'll just swipe to flash that once it's all flashed you'll reboot the phone and reboot system and you'll see the new Jellybean boot animation some of you guys have not even installed Jellybean yet it's been available for a while because Google did release the developer preview so it was not full AOSP, it now is full AOSP, so some of the things that were buggy before should work now. And this is the full version. So there is the Jelly Bean boot animation. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button right there. Give this video a big thumbs up. Also, leave your comments below. You can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in Android and tech news. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, where I'll keep you updated on anything that I have uh, put together any of my articles or my videos. I'll be sure to update you guys on Twitter. And I also do tons of giveaways there as well, so that's another reason to follow me on Twitter. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.